I wrote to the Security Council invoking Article 99 because we are at a breaking point. There is a high risk of the total collapse of the humanitarian support system in Gaza, which would have devastating consequences. We anticipate that it would result in a complete breakdown of public order and increased pressure for mass displacement into Egypt. I fear the consequences could be devastating for the security of the entire region. We have already seen the spillover in the occupied West Bank, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. There is clearly, in my view, a serious risk of aggravating existing threats to the maintenance of international peace and security. The risk of collapse of the humanitarian system is fundamentally linked with a complete lack of safety and security for our staff in Gaza and with the nature and intensity of military operations which are severely limiting access to people in desperate need. The threat to the safety and security of United Nations staff in Gaza is unprecedented. More than 130 of my colleagues have already been killed, many with their families. This is the largest single loss of life in the history of our organization. Some of our staff take their children to work so they know they will live or die together. Colleagues have shared heartbreaking messages from staff members pleading for help. The Under Secretary General of the Department of Safety and Security has advised me that all possible means of mitigating the risk to staff within Gaza, short of evacuation, are closed off because of the way this conflict has evolved. I cannot emphasize strongly enough that the UN is totally committed to stay and deliver for the people of Gaza. And I pay tribute to the heroic humanitarian aid workers who remain committed to their work despite the enormous dangers to their health and their lives. But the situation is simply becoming untenable. The Council called in Resolution 2712, and I quote, for the scaling up of the provision of such supplies to meet the humanitarian needs of the civilian population, especially children. End quote. I deeply regret to inform the Council that under current conditions on the ground, the fulfillment of this mandate has become impossible. The conditions for the effective delivery of humanitarian aid no longer exist. The crossing point at Rafa was not designed for hundreds of trucks and is a major bottleneck. But even if sufficient supplies were permitted into Gaza, intense bombardment and hostilities Israeli restrictions on movement, fuel shortages, and interrupted communications make it impossible for UN agencies and their partners to reach most of the people in need. Between 3 and 5 December, the two days preceding my letter, the UN could only distribute aid in one of Gaza five governorates, Rafa. Elsewhere, access was impossible. People are desperate, fearful, and angry. And in some cases, they have expressed their anger towards our own staff. Mr. President, all this takes place amid a spiraling humanitarian nightmare. First, there is no effective protection of civilians. More than 17,000 Palestinians have reportedly been killed since the start of Israel's military operations. This includes more than 4,000 women and 7,000 children. 